Hello and welcome back to Brimple Plays Blackthorn Arena. This is Chapter 3, Episode 4. Our people are out raiding a caravan right now. One of our reservists died at the end of the last episode, and Yarrow almost died, but somehow he lived. With that said, we are going to end our turn because we have a caravan attack to initiate. Now these will be against tougher enemies than the green caravans. We just have to be hopeful that we've leveled enough to actually take them on. Because you can see people as high as level 15, level 16 at blue caravans. Which I know what you're thinking, you're like, that sounds like a yellow caravan. Well, I got news for you. Yeah, there's a level 15 right there. There's a level 10 as well, so it kind of balances out, right? Probably averages around level 13, but still. Th that level 15 can be a, a big difference maker. Especially if he hits multiple people at once, you know? What's going on with this? Is that... Lark, what are you doing? Why, why, why was Lark just bugged out? Oh, I know why! I'm so stupid, I totally forgot to uh, tell Lark to actually try and attack people. That's funny. Yeah, there you go. Try and do some damage there, Lark. You still got something done. So, good for you. Carlson went down. You know, but no big deal. Oh no, Carlson, don't go, don't go back in there. Well, Baldy, Baldy took care of the problem. He pushed them away from you. He did big damage. Look at that big experience for everybody too, and it'll be big money because it was a blue caravan. Wow, eighty silver. A nice yellow potion. Carlson has had trauma, as as we expected. A long club. I don't know if that's any better than what Carlson is currently using. We, you will not fight there. Not there either. Carlson could fight a boar. But I don't want to begin the countdown to the spring games. Although maybe it's already began. Again, I know having 300 influence will get you your invite. But I don't know if there's like a level or a number of days that have to go by for you to get it otherwise. I, I, I'm not going to take this because Carlson is healing. It's Carlson who I want to fight that and he needs to heal his head. His big dumb head. So for one turn, again, we go back to the market and we get a reservist to back up our reservist. Did we anticipate losing Liza so early? Yes. No and yes. She did die really quickly. Everard? It's a terrible name. Looking to see if anybody has diligent. No? Okay. Well, Everard, you are our new dual wielder. Welcome to the team. It's great to have you. Now, you might notice a couple of blood stains on the armor that you inherit, but don't pay that any mind. You're getting senior medium chest armor, which is... No, you, you can't have the senior medium chest armor. Are you kidding me? Sorry, no. You're too new. That's for people who've been on the team and have seen combat. It's for veterans. You're a nobody right now. Is this club better than what you have? Hmm. I don't believe so. But we are going to give you better armor. 
because you've been carrying the team. So you deserve it. Everard, I hate your name. Um, just rename you Dumbo. Because your name was terrible, so you're called Dumbo now. Gladiator Sword is... Too low of damage. It's, that's a trap. I don't trust that weapon. Let's get Dumbo into training. Is anybody low on obedience? No. But we have people who are high on health who are not training. Take them out. We will soon get our invite to the Spring Games. We just need one more fight to make that happen. We could send two people out with two newbies in order to attack a caravan. For instance, we could send Dumbo along with Carlson. No, I don't want to send him with Carlson. I would send him with Lark. I think with Rosie. And I think with Yarrow. I think all of you combined can attack a caravan at night to get some experience for Yarrow and Dumbo. I want Carlson and Baldi to stay behind because I believe they can do more than anyone else on the team, frankly. Hmm. Gosh, that is kind of good. We're I'm tempted, so I'm taking it. I don't know that we even have anybody wearing heavy armor. But we're taking it. And we're selling this thick leather and getting our money back. And that gladiator sword. And the wood. There, we sold a bunch of garbage. I think we came out ahead in all of that. Now let's check these fights. Okay, a mist walker. We can get kill them for 30 silver. I'd like to send Baldi in for this fight. But I don't know for sure that Baldi can win this fight. Gosh, it would be interesting to give you the heavy chain, and it really doesn't slow you down so much, actually. That's pretty good for you, surprisingly. So what if we gave you, then, this healing potion? I would love to make you a battle monk, but it's not happening this turn, so we will continue to invest in attacks for you, including Tornado Punch and... Hmm... Maybe just another point in Tornado Punch. Oh, and then... No, 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 no. We can heal ourselves. Couple more points there. Oh, look at that. Your chest has disappeared. Well, look. If your chest is either invisible or just entirely missing, that means he's going to be missing a significant portion of his target. So that could really work out well for us in our favor. Oh, your chest is back. You are once again a target for the Mistwalker. Okay. Well, we know he's using a bow. So he's, she will be doing high damage. Veteran light helmet. Oh, she's got curving arrows. Missed her fi first fire arrow. There you go, there you go. Yeah, keep keep kicking her, knocking her down, punching her, all that crap. Good heal, good body slam. Keep just beating her down, Baldy. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm loving it, I'm loving it. Look, he's just spamming his attack. He just kicked her off the platform. Uh, that should have worked out in her favor, I think, you know, getting away from us, but it didn't because Baldy keeps punching her. I, and I want to be clear, this, this channel disavows any violence, we condemn any violence. 
but Baldy is punching everybody, so it's not domestic or, you know, gendered violence. But he's great at punching people. He really took her down. I really liked that spinning attack he did, does that he did because it moves them back so much and his ability to spam his attacks due to the low stamina cost and the constant CC did great oh here we go here's our invite we really need to hope that it's like 22 days away attack at night Twenty twenty one days, okay. Good. We just want to make sure that we have sufficient time to really get a bunch of kills. Really get a bunch of experience. Stuff like that. I may be able to send these two out at for a nighttime attack on a green caravan by themselves. And we're going to try it. We'll look at what this guy is selling. We have no reason not to, for the moment. When we get close enough, we will see the one straggler right here. I like this one. Having one straggler out here by themselves to begin the fight is really helpful. Oh, please don't chase. You will chase forever and you will take a million points of damage. Okay, well, we will speed up the game. Look at that, she almost ran again. Lark, are you going to die? You may die. You got saved by Yarrow. Yarrow bailed you out, Lark. That's incredible. Dumbo, you got a good amount of experience from that, so you should be pretty happy. I'm happy. I got money out of it. And leather armor. Yeah, I don't, I don't have a good feeling about either Lark's survivability long-term or Yarrow's. Uh, I anticipate they will both die in pretty short order. You will attack at night because there's just the two of you. And Yarrow will come in here and train. We will go back to the world map. Is there something that we can do fight-wise? Could Rosie take on a Wolf King and a Wolf by herself as a level 10? Putting that medium armor on didn't really help you much, unfortunately. I believe it should be possible for Rosie to win against a level 4 Wolf and a level 4 Wolf King in her current position. Be much better if you were a gladiator though, to be honest. I guess we will give you endurance. Just enough to get your stamina regeneration up. And I guess we had ought to give you two-handed weapon skill. I don't normally go down that road, but we'll try it. And Mighty Guard, we will invest mighty points into. I don't know, I mean, I assume this helps you hit more than one enemy at once, so we are going to invest in that. Does it tell us what attack angle does if we hold our mouse over it?
No. Okay. Well, it was worth checking. Go fight these wolves. Get some experience. Get some money. Try not to die. If you do die, that's really terrible because the spring games are just 20 days out, and that means that um, our next closest person in terms of level is an archer who's currently level 5. So just, you know, don't die. And I don't think you can yield to animals if things start to get ugly, just an FYI. We're going to speed this up because I am anxious. Okay, we will slow it down because I am no longer anxious. We are feeling very good now about Rosie's chances. Good job, Rosie. Twenty silver, some experience, a disability. Everything you could ask for out of one fight. And a flail. Perhaps it's time for us to go purchase veteran blue gear at the market. Ooh. I hope she's already going to the clinic. If she's not in the clinic, it's possible that she will be dead when we return from this mission. So, um, not sure what you will do with that information, but yeah, that is entirely possible. It is very easy for people to die if you do not put them into treatment when they become disabled. It'll just say that they died of, you know, some kind of injuries they sustained or something like that. They don't necessarily need to have actually got like a nerve tear or a rib fracture or anything to die either. Just, it, it can just happen, you know, when they're low health. Don't kill me, I'll give you everything. No, I'm going to kill you actually. Go kill him. There you go. He wasn't going to attack. You didn't need to blind him. Maybe the killing blow gives you more experience. Maybe that's what's happening when you opt to kill him. I want to believe that's the case because it makes me feel better about my assumptions. Hey, you did manage to make it into the clinic. You didn't get any health during that time, but you did make it there. Somehow dragged yourself in there. Good for you. Got a bunch of people in here. Getting not a lot done. If only all of our strongest people were ready to go, they could go after a blue caravan. Can we fight some level 6s, 9s, not a 12? No, that's a trap. Three chameleons? No, absolutely not. Not, not with the people who are currently healthy. And even the people who are currently healthy, quote-unquote, are not that healthy. I hate the sound of that crossbow. I'm going to tolerate that. A level 9. Hmm. Yeah, I guess we will send you, Carlson. Archer's going to drive me crazy. can already get... Oh, you need to invest more points into agility to get countercut. You will put one point into countercut, one point into blade dancer, one point into dodge attack. So your defensive capabilities are now expanding. Get out there and fight. I cannot stand to listen to that crossbow shoot one more arrow or bolt, whatever. 
Just get him out of there. Carlson, we will of course bet on you. We'd be crazy not to. You've been doing so well. Although, you know, I had a guy named Pete in the last game. He was doing pretty well. And then he wasn't all of a sudden. And that was the end of Pete. But look at the size of the axe Carlson is swinging with one arm. You know, there's a lot to be confident about when somebody's using a weapon that size. Now, the truth is, uh, Stark here has blocked many attacks to begin with. Um, a frightening number, unfortunately, that has significantly reduced my early damage. However, now having applied poison, I anticipate Stark may fall quickly. You can do it. Oh yeah, get that venomous weapon going. Blinding dust, he dodged that, didn't really care for it. And we will speed this up just to see you get this last hit, hopefully. Hopefully you don't get crit um, by like a shield bash and die. Oh no, he's just gonna get back up. You could get crit and die. You need to yield. Sorry, I can't afford to let you die. Well, that was a really close match, but that guy just had really high defenses. We'll have to try to do better on the next one. Yarrow and Larker becoming better friends. That's good, because I was just coming by to tell Lark to give up his weapon. He's driving me crazy. Okay, where are you at, Carlson? You're already in here? Good. It's unfortunate that he was not able to come out on top on that fight. But when we saw him, the enemy come back to life, we knew it was over. Now, a level 8 lion would be a good fight for both Lark and, uh, you know, anybody who wasn't prone to dying very easily, but... Everyone on our team is pretty beat up. Fighting that lion would probably only make things worse at this point, so we're going to go to the market. We're going to find some blue gear and outfit our people a little bit in preparation for the spring games. Move on from here. Well, look at the weapons. They have nice weapons. An elite warrior helmet would be great for Rosie. It's a lot of money, but we're going to take it. And senior medium pants for 12 silver a piece? That's really hard to ignore. I think we'll hold on to this green leather chest for now. We will continue to sell all of the crafting materials that we've picked up. Because we care more about the money right now than anything. We will grab a warrior helmet, too. Two senior medium pants. A senior medium chest armor. Should we grab another one of those? No, I feel like that's wasting money at this point. We care about the pants more than we do about the chests. I think? I don't know. What we really want is just some veteran gear. Some blue veteran armor. See, there's veteran heavy chest armor, but who's wearing... It would, it would be rosy, I guess. Do we care that much about the armor Rosie wears right now? We do, actually. Yes, we do. And we ought to get two pairs of senior medium green gloves and senior medium green boots. 
Our team deserves it. Everybody needs good gear. For the spring games. When we get into the spring games, we're going to see people who have not only veteran gear, but people who have champion gear, potentially. There could be somebody who's level 16 there and is there for the sole purpose of ruining our day. Something to be very aware of. I'm gonna make sure that Carlson has a good kit before anybody else. When you're kicking everyone's butt, you get to gear up before everybody else, too. That's just the rules. Two strength? Hmm. Over ten stamina? I feel like the strength is better for you than the stamina at this very moment. And the medium leg armor would be better for you as well. Finally, we have some extra gear to place on Dumbo. No, we'll give you strength so you hit harder. And Yero, uh, no. Lark? Nah. Not sure what to do with this pair of gloves. Everyone has decent gloves at this point. Except for you two, and you don't really need that. You don't like medium armor anyways. Whatever. Everybody's healed up enough to go on a blue caravan raid. Yes, this crew. You will go on a blue caravan raid. We may even... Nah... No. I was very seriously considering making it a little more dangerous by attacking during the day, but I can't lose somebody at this moment. Yarrow and Dumbo? Uh, there's not really anything for you two to fight right now. And I'm not willing to hire mercenaries for you to go attack that caravan. I don't need you to be gaining experience like that. It's not really significant money anyways. Attack at night. Still nothing for Yero and for Dumbo. But they're feeling good after training together, so that's nice. Teamwork truly does make the dream work. Okay, look, Baldi is getting going. You guys have messed up by throwing poor Baldi into the lion's den. And you didn't follow him in. You were just like, eh, we're going to chill back here, smoke a cigarette. I don't know. I don't know what you guys are doing, but you've really screwed over Baldi. If Baldi dies, I'm holding all of you accountable. I won't pay for the funeral. You'll pay for it. I'll spare you. I'll spare you because Baldi was spared by your team. What's really nice is everybody's level 10, level 11, which puts us in a nice position going into the spring games. If we could get everybody to level 12, that's our preferred position. But you can't count on it, of course. We're, we just have to try our best. Lark. Oh, Lark didn't have a weapon again. Yeah, I keep taking away his crossbow. Well, I wouldn't take it away if you weren't so annoying, so whose fault is that? Anyways, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I will catch you in the next episode where we will maybe train to become a battle monk. And we will certainly do what we can do to gain some additional experience. So, again, thank you for watching, and I will catch you next time.